Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Success Secrets Revealed live stream television show. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about a little bit about how this show came about. Then I'm going to introduce our sponsor. Then I'm going to introduce our amazing guest today. She, she is a gratitude. Her name is Tina Torres. She is the CEO of Gratitude Specialist, and she helps a lot with client retention and other things, which are super important in today's day and age. Wouldn't you agree? But first, I want to tell you about how the show came about. My name is Ronald Kuhlman, and I have a radio show called RC uh, Internet Marketing and Business Solutions with Ronald Kuhlman. We have a 1.7 million reach. It's a weekly show. Uh, but due to COVID, the radio station is not manning people during that time, so they're just running reruns. So I didn't want not to continue to contribute and give people, you know, actionable feedback, business owners and entrepreneurs. So I switched the format, doing the live streams. These videos will go out live and go through all social media platforms, but the audio I'm going to strip out, send to the radio station so they can run live content uh, throughout the week uh, so people we can continue to, to uh, um, contribute uh, so I just want to say sometimes in life you need to pivot right and, and we had to pivot the sponsor for this show is my company RCS online solutions we are a digital marketing agency and we basically help people create their online presence or take their current online presence and get it in front of their ideal customers and clients. At the end of the day, you can have the best products, the best services, the best prices, the best websites, the best funnels, the best everything you can have. But if people can't find you when they're looking for your products and services and solutions, then you have nothing, right? Or you certainly have a lot less. So that's what we do. We help people uh, get in front of their target audience. So enough about me. Today I want to talk to you about, we have with us, like I said, Tina Torres. She is a client retention expert. She has been recognized as a top performing sales associate uh, awarded number one in her region and a top income producer using her proven system for building strong customer relations. Tina is a best-selling author of the Gratitude Journal. She is the founder of the Connect to Client Blueprint, a proven follow-up method to enhance relationships with clients and potential clients. Her mission is to show the world how to implement gratitude into your daily life, can, how by doing that can change your business. Tina, Tina is a morning TV show host, best-selling author, and a global speaker. She lives in Charlotte, North Carolina, where she is living an attitude of gratitude, showing the world how to build uh, relationships that matter. Please help me welcome Tina. Hello, hello. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate you. <laughs> I, I got to get a clap track, a clap track in there, right? Yeah, one of those little clappers. <laughs> Yeah, one of them. Yeah, but then I don't know. People might just think it's a clown show and not serious, right? So <laughs> I guess you just got to balance things, you know? What right. I mean? And I'm loving your accent. <laughs> I don't, I think, uh, yeah, I'm telling I'm you. I'm loving your Boston accent. Yeah, I don't have an accent. The rest of the world has the accent. You know right. how it goes, right? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but uh, all right. But you lived in San Diego, North Carolina. You have a New York connection, so I mean, you're you're pretty diverse when it comes to hearing accents, huh? I am. I am. So yeah, I grew up in San Diego for 23 years. I moved to Georgia for another 20. I had some family in New York, so I have that little Jersey accent. I say coffee because I have my coffee all the time. But then you know, I love the accent thing, so. I can I can go from Valley Girl to country to a country bumpkin in a in a heartbeat. <laughs> I love it. You gotta have your coffee and bagels. My coffee and bagels. Yeah, I like to tease my, my New York friends, right? They know I'm only joking, but I'll go like, hey, how do I get to the island? Where's Vinny? I wanna get to the island. I need a dog. How do, how do I get to the <laughs> island? I wanna go down the island and get a dog. Is that the number seven train? <laughs> on the six, baby, on the six. <laughs> is it the number six train? It's on the six, yes. The number <laughs> six. I was close. I remember when I've gone to New York, I went from Queens into uh, Times Square and it was the seven. But that place is so big, I literally would take a picture of the train station where I got on and then one where I got off. So if I ever had to ask somebody, I'd say, <laughs> where is this? <laughs> I have it on my phone, right? Exactly. 
but excellent. I mean, you obviously have a, an amazing personality. I mean, we just literally met and, and you just, you know, you're so fun. Uh, your bio was great, but can you tell us a little bit more about who you are and, and, and what you do and uh, a little more about this attitude with gratitude? Of course, of course. So about 13 years ago, I started my company and I started teaching people how to stay in contact with all of their their people, their, their networking people, the people that they meet and their clients. And I, I found that so many people were having a hard time staying in contact with them, following up and following through. So I knew I needed to create something. So I created some workshops. And so this year I turned those workshops into a course, the Connection to Client Blueprint, um, where it's a 12 module course that you can go in and go through it on your own pace. So it's a DIY. Um, you go through it on your own pace, you learn how to get all of these things in place, and you're able to implement everything into your business from having the attitude of gratitude that I always say. Um, I wrote my book last year, The Gratitude Journal. It is the number one best-selling um, book on Amazon on three different categories right now. But I wrote it because of the situation that I was in. Um, I had just got a divorce after 20 years, I became an empty nester. I lost a six figure corporate job that I had and I moved from Atlanta to North Carolina all in a six month period of time. So I was in a very bad depression and so I knew I needed to do something like this. So I wrote the gratitude journal. It's a 365 day morning and nighttime routine. So you would do five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening and doing this and implementing this into your daily routine for nine for 90 days can change your life and change your world forever and um so that's part of my course um and then we kind of go into mindset and goal setting follow-up of course i teach you a seven-step follow-up process where it creates a follow-up and follow-through method for years on end and helps you build those relationships helps you create that KLT factor, that no like and trust factor, um, and keeps you from being so salesy. Yeah, because uh, you want to serve, not sell. Exactly. Uh, I, I learned that years ago. My business literally tripled when I got to the point where I was serving people and not selling. And it's a subtle difference because you know, you like that you give them the free giveaways. Here's three, three tips, seven, three tips, but you're building a relationship with them along. They're finding success in your free stuff. So then they say, well, if this is free, I wonder what I'm going to get if I actually invest some exactly. money. Yeah. And, and today retaining your clients, I mean, what it takes to actually get someone uh, to serve, right? To, to actually achieve the success of serving a new client is a long process of like hand holding. It's almost like dating. You know, if you go into a networking event or something and, and you're just going for the sales, like you're a shock or something, and you pick up the phone, hey, this is like what. Yeah, this is what I got. This is what you need. Cut the check and we'll take care of it for you, right? Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? That those that doesn't work. I don't know if it ever did, but me, but so now it, it, it is it is like a hand holding process. But once you get them, mm -hmm. that second and third and fourth sales are I don't want to say like free money, but it's it's yours because you've already built that rapport with them. Exactly. So you know you're gonna invest a lot of time and effort up front on it, but that R O R is what I tell people, don't focus on your ROI. You know, if you spend $10 on a Facebook ad and you get five clients, well, you might think that's a failure. But over time, those five clients, you know, you might make $100,000, whatever the lifetime of your client is. But focus on ROR. So I love your client retention. Can you give yeah. us some suggestions or, or that, around that? Uh, yeah. And so a lot of people, they struggle with... Um, with retaining their clients, well, getting clients even, but retaining them are a whole nother story. Then once they get them, they kind of forget about them. They move on to getting the new clients. And so what I teach is to focus and to nurture the current clients that you have now, because it could you can create those loyal lifetime clients. And then you can turn those clients into those raving referral partners and fans where they are in turn referring you to others right? And helping you work smarter and not harder and not letting you work so hard to gain a new client 
you're getting a warm market referral from a current client who has already done business with you. And then that way it'll increase your cash flow. Yep. And so what I teach them is a seven step process um, to retain those clients, to nurture those clients, and then to and buy, get more products for your clients to um, produce more products that your clients need, which they're going to buy more of because they've already bought from you once or twice before already. Um, so it takes so much more effort for you to get a new client than for you just to nurture a, a current client that you already have. And I have some out of the box type of thinking um, too. I, I have them send cards and gifts, like actual physical cards and gifts in the mail. Um, I have them send birthday cards. I have them do some social media marketing. So, you know, I have that whole seven step process and it's in the connection to client blueprint. I love it. And I, I so agree. You know how much I agree. If I could share my screen, I won't do it. But if you look at my website, right, it's RCS Online Solutions. But right on the very front, it says attract, convert, and retain your ideal customers and clients. I so agree with, with what, you, what you're what you saying uh, for multiple reasons that I've said and that you've said. Uh, so what are some, it, I'm going to give them the ticket right now. Is that uh, okay if I let them? Uh, yeah, go ahead. So now this is how they can actually start to access your course. Yep. So if you text the word connection to 26786, you're going to get a free downloadable, your seven ways to increase your cash flow. And it's just seven easy steps for you to implement today for you to start increasing that cash flow, for you to retain those clients, for you to turn those clients into raving fans. I love it. Now, uh, we're definitely going to come back and touch on this because it, to me, it, it, it's so important, especially in today, like with COVID and, you know, some of our, our, our client base has stopped or, you know, they're leery about coming back. But I'm really interested. I mean, you had a lot of stuff happen. You had like four or five major <laughs> life uh, experiences happen to you all at one time. I talked about my radio show going to... Uh, you know, just doing reruns. So I had a pivot. I mean, your pivot at that point in your life was a little bit more than me doing live streams opposed right. to talk, talking into a mic where nobody can see it. I like to tell people I have a face for radio, right? But um, so you had some major uh, life uh, events, but you didn't use them to like disenable you, to disable you. You used those to enable you, to lift you up. I mean, it probably beat you down for a week or two or a month just, you know, because you just had to get your mind right. But, you know, here you are today. So you obviously have, have uh, you know, you've used them to scale. Please tell us a little bit more about that, because to me, that's huge. And I really think people should... Uh, get your book, get your course, but the combination to yeah. me is like, do it. So after all of that happened, um, I did. It took me about ninety days. I fell into a very, very bad depression. Um, it was a dark time in my life, and so many people were like, "Tina, you know, you're the gratitude specialist. You know, you don't, you're not supposed to feel this way." But even, even the gratitude specialist had those kind of times. Um, but I knew, I, I knew about gratitude already. I had God in my life, so I, I took a journal and I got my Bible, and between the two of them, I was able to pray every day, get my journal out, and be grateful for the things that I had on a daily basis. Um, I forced myself every single morning to get out of bed and to write three new things that I was grateful for um, in my journal. And it took about, like I said, it took about 90 days, but I was able to turn that around. Um, and I started being able to manifest people into my life that were able to lift me up and get me out of the hole that I was in. Um, I had to do a lot of removing of toxic people, you know, that you have to do. Um, and some of them were family members. So I had to remove a lot of people out of my life and remove myself out of some situations. But with that, I was able to write the book and meet some fabulous people who are now lifted me up and I was able to relaunch my my business. I was able to, like I said, write my book. I was able to take my workshops and turn them into a course. I started speaking right when the COVID started hitting. Um, <laughs> I was just hitting my, my, you know, relaunching my speaking career. Yeah. Um, and then so Angel Tessie and I decided to take um, what that was happening with the COVID and turn it into a virtual event too. And so we started the Connect Summit 
Um, we have just finished our fourth one. We're about to launch our fifth. And so it's June 23rd from 12 to 6 Eastern. Uh, we launched our Angel and Tina morning show. So we do that. It just got picked up by seven different channels um, on the Sandra TV network is one of our sponsors. Um, we have several other sponsors on this sh on the TV show as well. We've had amazing guests um, from Sharon Lecter, Les Brown. I mean, some big time guests on our show and on our summit. So, you know, the whole pivot thing kind of worked in our favor. It, it kind of worked in our favor. And so we were able to take that and take it up a notch. Um, I am now writing my second book, uh, Beyond Gratitude, Creating the Connection for a Lifetime, where it's going to give you a step-by-step -step process, on, on process on how to create that connection and how to create it for a lifetime, how to build those actual relationships with everyone that you meet. I love it, man. I love it. And, and to me, it's those type of stories, that backdrop, uh, you know. <laughs> it, 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 I'm a very girly girl, you know, as you can tell. <laughs> From the island too, from from New Jersey. I, I'm a girly girl from New Jersey. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's exactly what we think of when we think of Jersey girls, right? <laughs> that and leopard. Yeah, but no, that, I'm only joking. Cause, uh, but what what I meant by the backdrop was the backdrop to your story, to who you are, to your book, and, and the pivot. Um, that level, I mean, that type of real that makes you you're so real you're so raw and you're so relatable it's that type of um authenticity that people are just going to gravitate to so when you're speaking and you know i automatically right off the bat when we were in the, the green room just talking i mean we were laughing and joking i almost wanted to say stop we got to save this for the show right <laughs> but i in my mind i was like hey just let it happen and it will happen when we get out there yeah. but I just, I just love the fact i mean i'm so sorry that you went through all of what you went through but you know how you how you pivoted you 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 use that to empower you not to enable you like you said it took 90 days but you learned you had a mindset three things every day you forced yourself to get out of bed you developed habits you yeah. forced yourself to do this you wrote them down and you know all the good step by step uh, if somebody finds themselves in a similar type situation can you give give me like three ideas i know they should read your book i know they should take your course uh, but just for like you know, three tips. I usually ask all my guests anyhow, you know, can you give us three tips for a business owner or an entrepreneur, or in this case, somebody who's going through so many life changes all at once. <laughs> it, it, it was, it was a very challenging time, but now that I, I look back at it before I was like, you know, why me, why me? But then I had the, you know, the, the epiphany where I said, why not me? You know, <laughs> why wouldn't this happen to me? Um, so I was able to take that and enable other people as well. Um, so the three things that I would say that you do is definitely start a gratitude journal, whether it's mine or anything that you buy, you know, you can buy it at a store, get it some kind of journal and every single day, write down three things, three new things that you are grateful for. And it could be the bed that you're sleeping in. It could be because it's, you know, sun shining outside. It could be that because of a friend texted you. Um, whatever it is, just make sure it's three new things every single day. Um, I say do it morning and nighttime, but at least do it once a day. Um, the second thing is find people who can support you. Um, find people, positive, uplifting people who can help you and support you and get you out of that, that bondage that you think that you have. And then the third thing is always work on your mindset. So, um, you know, whatever it is, reading, um, watching podcasts, watching the radio shows, whatever it is, just always keep yourself in that positive mindset because it's so easy to get into that negative and fall into that negative side of things when you are in that kind of situation. So, you know, keeping your mindset active and positive and in that positive flow was another thing that I did. So write in your gratitude journal, find your tribe and keep a positive mindset are my three my three must do's to get yourself out of that pit that you think that you are in. 
I love it. I absolutely love it. I wish I wrote it down, but I will go back because this is recorded. <laughs> but when you first started speaking, I remember earlier you said you, you, you've interviewed Les Brown, right? I, I love Les Brown, right? I, and uh, he helped me tremendously. But um, when, when you said that you started feeling bad for yourself, and, 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 you know, it was like, why me, right? And then you said, why not me? I was thinking about Les Brown because he, he says the same thing. Why yeah. not you? Why not you wanted to be on somebody else? Why not you, right? So, uh, so I mean, it's, it's so funny because when we sit here and we listen to people, other people that have come into our minds, like I also think about Jim Rohn. And so I, I try to listen to Les Brown and Jim Rohn and a couple other people at least 10 to 15 minutes a day. Because that first, you know, 10, the first 20 minutes in the morning, your, your brain works at like 10.5 times the reticular activators, right? Yeah. So it's cooking. So you want to feed positive stuff. You don't want to put the news on checking for the weather and you hear about all the insanity. I never watch the news. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. If it's anything that I need to know. I, I find it off of my social media. Um, yep. The news is never on. I never listen to anything negative. Um, I did start a daily routine um, after all of this as well. So the, um, every day I get up between 4 and 5 a.m. And for the first hour, I have this whole morning routine. Um, it's all made up of positive things, you know, meditation and prayer and gratitude and journaling and all these things. And so doing that has helped me create um, the money mindset that I have now. Um, and, um, what else was I going to say? Somebody just popped into my thing and was asking me a question. Um, so doing that, creating that morning mindset, like you said, that first 20 minutes where your brain is so heavily active, don't turn on the news. Don't turn on that negative stuff. You know, keep it that, that you have now because it can. Go ahead. You know, keep, keep yourself in a positive situation. Yeah. Um, and if you find yourself in that negative, you can always, when you have that mindset, you can find yourself and you'll be like, what am I doing? And you can turn it off and switch it around. Yep. And I, I like, I love it. And that's what I, I do. Like I said, I listen to either Les Brown or Jim Rohn. And one of the things Jim Rohn says, you know, pretty, what happens to you pretty much happens to everybody else. Uh, you know, maybe it's a different day. It's a different person, but the feelings that come from the end of the event pretty much happens. So it's not what happens to us, it's what we do with it. So exactly. that's why I, I really love how you just spun that around. And, well, and then you also have to share your story. So yeah. for a while I wasn't sharing my story. I wasn't telling people that I was in that dark pit. Um, and then a friend of mine was like, why aren't you, why don't you share your story? Why don't you tell people that? And I'm like, cause I'm the freaking gratitude specialist. I can't tell people that. <laughs> And they're like, Tina, you're real. And so the first time I said I told my story from stage, I had so many people come up to me afterwards yep. and say, oh, my God, Tina, me too. And I can't believe you went through that. And I'm going through this now. And I'm going through a, a bad divorce now. And I was in a toxic relationship. Or I, too, you know, am an empty nester. And my son went to the Army, you know, too, because my youngest son went to the Army. And, you know, so one of those things was able to relate to somebody in the audience. And if I can help one person a day, if I can help one person everywhere I go, just turn their life around, turn it from a negative mindset to a positive mindset, then I know that I fulfilled my purpose. I love it. And I think you're doing tremendous already. Now, if somebody with their gratitude uh, tell us a little bit about like, um, well, your client retention. Let's go back to that because you're, you're, you're a CEO of a company that helps people. And I'm a big fan. I tell my clients all the time, you know, you, you, you've got to attract, but it's attract, convert and retain your ideal customers and clients. That's what I basically help them with. So the fact that you are a, reti a, a retention expert, I love that because I, I so value that. Um, so talk to us a little bit about how you um, help them achieve that but then you know maybe give us one or two or three tips obviously they got to buy you know your your course to get the whole thing right um <laughs> you know you got to live too right right but, uh, <laughs> girl got to eat right <laughs> and i got to wear shoes because i love shoes and we got to have the ones with the red bottoms you know Always. Hey, jimmy's in the house <laughs> i'm a red bottom girl <laughs> But uh, so funny. But all right. So, um, but yeah, you know, what, what are like some things that people can do for client retention? I mean, I like how you talked about um, giving people like 
thing. I had one guy, I had a meeting with him, and then he sent me, and he used cards or something, right? And I ended up getting a box, and I literally just started a diet that Sunday, and I got these box on Monday. A box and of brownies? Two brownies. And they were in here, and I'm thinking they went so through that the was floor. from, um, so I'm affiliated with a company called Banner Season. Yeah. And they actually send cards and gifts, um, yeah. and you get actual physical cards in the mail. Um, and you can send a two package of brownies. So yeah. what I teach my people is to send those physical gifts and yeah. to do it seven times, or physical cards, and to do it seven times a year. So you're creating that top of mind awareness. Um, yeah. Every other month, they're getting something from you. And then twice a year, send them a little gift, like a two pack of brownies or a $5 you know, Starbucks gift card, because you're just outside of the box thinking and you're creating that wow experience and then the third thing I suggest is always going the extra mile because so many of us do not do that and we just give them just enough. But why not go a little bit above and beyond to keep them and retain them for life? If you go a little bit above and beyond, they're going to become referral partners and then refer at them to everyone they know. But if you do not, they're going to give you a negative review. They're never going to buy from you again and they won't give you a referral. So why not put the extra special touch on every one of your clients so that way they stay and you don't have to keep on trying to find new ones. I love it. And that you're right. And you're right. Then they become your, your raving fans. Exactly. But at the end, of the end of the day, even if they don't get you additional uh, customers or clients, your job is to serve them. If, it, you know, but if it turns around that they send people your way because they're so happy with you, that to me just shows that, you know, they loved your service so much that they just talked about it. People will be quick to talk about, I went to this movie theater and the seat was sticky. Or mm -hmm. I, you know what I mean, I got this popcorn or, or I went to this restaurant and they were, whatever it was, they're quick for the negative, right? Yeah, you know, they put the negative review right there on Google all the time. Yep. And it's very rare that you find somebody who puts a positive review on. So, exactly. I, you know, we kind of go into that in the Connection of Client Blueprint as well, where I show you how to ask for those referrals, how to ask for those testimonials. So then that way it boosts your step up because, you know, you need 10 positives to overcome that one negative. And that one negative is going to come a lot easier than those 10 positives. Yeah, and you'll find, I do, I, I help people with like search engine optimization. I get them on the first page, ranked organically, often before they even pay me. But a lot of times people will contact me because of exactly what you just said. They'll have one negative review. They'll have 19 good ones, but the, the negative one. The negative will, review is all the way to the top. Exactly. It'll be like in the top one, two or three. And they're like, how can, how can I bury that? And there's ways that you, you can, you know, produce more content and do things legitimately uh, and, and just have that, you know, filter down where unless they're, you know, looking on page 40 they'll never see you exactly. but, uh, but yeah it's that one or two that'll come up that'll bite you in the butt and for whatever reason like you said you can have seven or eight really good ones and then one or two bad ones and for some reason people are just more inclined and they're not going to go and dig around they're not going to go well let me see if i can find some positive reviews they're going to read your first two negatives and they're going to be like screw that i'm not going to do it yep but so, you know, and I and when you do something like this, when you do some out of the box thinking and out of the box marketing, you're not spending so much money on Google ads and Facebook ads and billboards and magazines, and you're not spending all this money on all this other kind of marketing and doing that spray and pray type of thing. You're actually getting, actually getting a customer or a you know a referral or a raving fan, right? Yep. And it's good. And also what I like to try to talk to my clients about is, is I will talk to them like, um, let's say, you know, like in my case, we do websites and we do uh, SEO, uh, search engine optimization. Sometimes I will try to form an alliance with a company that does SEO but doesn't do websites or a company that does websites and doesn't do SEOs. Or I will make a relationship with um, somebody who is a business attorney because all his clients need one or more of my services. So I will build a relationship with him or her and then, you know, often maybe even give them some free work so they can see the benefits and then, you know, have access to their entire client base with a soft referral. So I love what you're saying. And it's all about giving first. It's it is. 
serve, man. Serve, serve, serve. And I, and I always tell my customers, what you send out is what you get back tenfold. So, you know, I get a, probably around 200 birthday cards a year from my different clients and, you know, influencers around the world. But I send probably about four or 500 cards a year, birthday cards a year. Um, Buy stamps? Yes. I like actual... <laughs> Actual physical cards. They get. Uh, do you actually have to lick them? I don't know if you're old enough to remember the Steinfeld episode where they licked all the wedding anniversaries. Well, no, <laughs> no, no. So the company that I, ha I have, so Banner Season, um, they actually you they stuff it, stamp it, and mail it out for you, and it's about a dollar a card. So what I tell people is, aren't your customers worth seven dollars? Yep. You know, if they're worth seven dollars, they're gonna you're gonna be able to keep them forever, because once you start telling people showing people how you feel like my my angelo says you know people will remember what you said they'll remember what you did but they'll always remember how you, they made you feel you made them feel and if you just reach out to people for no reason hey happy birthday with no referral no hey and if you need a real estate agent call me just hey happy birthday wishing you a fabulous birthday enjoy your day love tina you know nothing else and you're just sending out for that, they're, you're going to get all of that back. They're going to want to work with you. They're going to want to send you a referral. Even if they have never bought from you, they're going to send you referrals. I love it. And Tina, I'm looking at, at, at the promo piece we put up for you. As you know, I told you I have multiple screens. So, uh, But we don't have your contact info here. So I, I want two things. One, can you give everybody your, your best contact info? I know we have the text floating on the bottom. But then I also want you to send me, right, in an in a email uh, or, a, or a Facebook message because when I post this up, you know, like your your website, your email, and, you know, your, your social media posts, right? And I'm just going to cut and paste that and put it there so it, it will – people will be able – but you also get backlinks from that, you know what I mean? Because it'll be there and shared. And backlinks are one of the biggest things that uh, the search engines use to determine who they're gonna bring up because they kind of view it as like a vote of confidence. If they're yeah. sharing them, they must have quality content. Exactly. So, uh, so I wanna make sure we get that for you. So, so if you go to the gratitudespecialist.com, you're gonna get me, that's my website. Um, every single social media platform is all the gratitude specialist. So Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, everything is the gratitude specialist, all on brand. You'll see all of my pink and white branding all over the place. You know that's me. Um, but if you go to the gratitude specialist, you'll see all of my information. You can get information on my Connection to Client Blueprint. You can also get my information on my Gratitude Goals and Growth membership program that I have. Um, and you can pre-order my new book called Beyond Gratitude, Creating the Connection for a Lifetime. You can free buy, you can buy my gratitude journal, whatever you want to do. Um, and you can schedule a 15 minute complimentary co uh, consultation with me as well. Tina, you've been absolutely amazing. I pretty much have to close this out in a couple of minutes, but is there anything you'd like the listeners to know before we do? Um, yeah. So if you're, if you are going through a dark time in your life, what I know a lot of people right now are with the COVID-19 hitting, so many people are getting um, hit different ways, right? Um, but if you just start your day with a gratitude journal, starting your day for five minutes every morning and five minutes every night, no matter if you're using mine or not, just start your day and do it for 90 days. Your life and your business will change forever. I guarantee it. Excellent. So always have an attitude of gratitude. And that's your whole brand. That's what they can find you. Instagram, everything else. Attitude, exactly. attitude right? Exactly. All right. I'm going to close out the show, but... Uh, everybody, this has been an amazing. Uh, I, uh, let me go. Whoop, this one, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that one, it was one of three, right? Uh, this was an amazing interview, uh, and I highly recommend that you contact Tina Torres. She is the CEO of Gratitude and a Gratitude Specialist of uh, multiple sites. We're going to put it all up here for you. But think about her past. I mean, she had some, you know, pretty mentally and emotionally, uh, you know 
devastating things happened to her at one time. She didn't use that to disable her. She used it to empower her, created a book, created courses, programs. She's out there helping dozens of other people. She's got a, 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 a best-selling author in three different categories. You really need to connect with, with Tina. She, and besides that, you see and heard her, she has a dynamite personality, right? So she's really fun. You know, she's real raw and relatable, right? And uh, we always want to learn from somebody who's been there and done that. I mean, it's not that we that misery loves company, but we can just we just well, somebody can understand us better who has been through something similar. You know what I mean? It's a little different type of empathy. So again, I highly recommend that you contact uh, Tina Torres. My name is Ron Cooming. You've been watching the Success Secrets Revealed live stream show. Uh, we're sponsored by RCS Online Solutions, where we help business owners and entrepreneurs much like you attract, convert, and retain their ideal customers and clients to achieve even greater success. At the end of the day, let's be real, you can have the best products, the best service, the best solutions, the best sites, the best funnels, but if people can't find you when they're searching for their solutions, products, and services for their problem, they're not searching for your name and they're not searching for your company's name. So Google the service or product or solution you provide. If you're not coming up first on the first page, contact us. We'll get you there often before you even pay us. Have a great day, everyone.